I really, really don't know what marriage is all about. See, I've been in a 12 year relationship. I know what a relationship about and stuff like but that. But being right. a wife is different. Right. I don't, it's, it's really different. I don't and really, it's so much pressure. Yeah, and I can admit, I don't know what being, uh, being in a marriage is really all about. You know? And that's okay. That's okay. And that's why I feel like you're a real bitch. Okay, like, ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Zadia, and I'm back at y'all with another video featuring Winter. I know you guys. Not on, me. not on being a professional. Yes. Like a great little combo. Yeah, y'all. So um, today, uh, me and Winter will be doing a true for drink video. So we're doing true for drink. Uh, she gonna ask me ten questions. I'm gonna ask her ten questions back yes. to back. Either you can tell what you want to tell, or basically, you know how those things, or you can. Or you cannot, yeah. Make um, sure y'all like this video. Like, 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 like it up. Like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're tuning in, if you're new, and turn that post notification bell so you know it's Xavier. So, y'all, we comfortable. We in the house, as y'all can see. So, we got on our little 111222. Yay. <laughs> so, y'all know Xavier, nothing fancy. Fresh face ponytail, still pretty as fuck. Okay? Yeah, so we got, um, we got our wine glass. We don't have anything. No, I, I drunk my whole, first of all, I'm telling her I drunk my whole cup, She dog. drunk her cup. Thank you. But, but, here's the what, it had lemonade in it. So, <laughs> it was mixed. I've been drinking straight because I don't taste nothing but it. Okay, you've been drinking straight, no cap. But, you know, to maintain my life, I got to have a little bit of chase. I okay. can't be too, Turn. too turned up. With the kid up. Fat. You are a mommy. So. <laughs> I'll give her that. She is a mommy, so. Take your shot. I'll take you a shot. shot. I'll take a shot. We got to with the shot. Okay. It never gave nothing. Because it's shot o'clock. If you, you guys are at home and over the age of 21, we need to take a shot with us, okay? <laughs> Cheers to those who wish us well and those who don't can go to hell. Oh! <laughs> mm-mm-mm. Okay. Okay, truth or drink? Do you really like me as a friend? Like, you know, you're my girl, fuck. I feel like a lot of people are weird in Atlanta. But yeah. you know, you're from Chicago. Like, Chicago. Yeah, so it's like, they're not the Atlanta bitches. Yeah. So, but a lot of hoes, they move here from different places, still be weird. weird. Yeah. yeah, but it's just like, you know, you gave me authentic energy, yeah. real bad. Like, you give me real out west fish. Yeah, out <laughs> I should get back with my husband. 
Honestly, I 100% support love. I already know that. And you know that, like, and I see their dynamic. It's real. It's authentic. It doesn't give me made up. I've been a lot of, around a lot of Atlanta hoes, and they have this YouTube relationship. Y'all so happy for a video, then when you cut off the camera, they fight like cats and dogs, you know, or... They so happy for the YouTube, but then it's not real. You're authentic. Like, yeah. And I be telling them that, like, what y'all see, don't be fake. I be really good at that. I talked about that yesterday. I say, like, I'm going to show y'all the front two when it's coming up, my wig when it's lifting. I'm real. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't got a sugar cut. I don't, I, like, to me, I feel like authentic gets you further than being fake. Because so, people yeah. want to keep that fake shit in a minute. Now, dude, the question yeah. is, do you want to be back with the media? Is this your question? <laughs> okay, truth the truth. Let's, <laughs> let's wait on that question because we're going to really get into the tea. <laughs> Go ahead, boo. Truth the truth. Truth the dream. Yeah, it's truth the dream. <laughs> yes. The brothers is saying that your has been on the market. Is she looking around for a relationship or is it just, you know, strictly friends? Are you dating? They want to know. Everyone wants to know. I feel like knowing my dating, okay. I heard about myself. Okay. You know, I got a lot of. So, but are you open to? I'm open to. Okay, okay. So, if somebody be like, if I feel the vibe and somebody hit me up, like, let me take you on a date. And, yeah. I, and I feel like, oh, he can't some more. He woo, he woo, he woo. I'll be like, okay, yeah, you can take me on a date. I feel that. Now, don't give me that. Ain't, ain't nobody stopping my pimping. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Was it good? 
Period. That's how they got it. Okay, let's get to the tea. True or drink, mm -hmm. you like straight men or <laughs> look at her face. You like straight men or DL me? Is it different? It is. So I'm glad you asked that. So a download man is a man that is not secure in his sexuality. So meaning he's doing stuff behind closed doors, he'll right. most likely want to just have sex. Right. But a straight male is someone that has dated females, but is open to dating a trans woman, you know, or open to being with a trans woman more than just a sexual relationship. Right. So, and you all hear yeah. that do make sense. A DL is just like, you just like can't come out the closet. Yeah. Okay, so you like straight, straight men. Straight men or DL men. So what's so funny is, um, I've only been with two gay guys in my life, okay. entire life. But I've been with a lot of straight guys. I like turning guys out. I feel like my <laughs> turn ons are gun charges, baby mamas, um, jail time, no, <laughs> scammers. No, oh but my God! Let me tell y'all something. Winter too. Winter is twenty four, y'all. So I'm done talking. She's and young time. and turned. <laughs> So, winter is 24, so. I'm TT, okay? Young, toxic, and turn, okay? But no, honestly, I, I just feel like a straight male is more attractive. I feel like, honestly, I would be more open to my man still having sex with a female than Fact. from me to find a man cheating with, like, a tr another train. Because I'm going to feel like, what am I not providing for you? So, Fact. you know. Oh, yeah, I get that. I get that. Yeah, but like if you're a straight guy, you fucking bitches. I understand. I got, you know. Right. Right. You know? Right. Right. <laughs> right. 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 Uh, okay. Um. Okay. My question. True. Do you want to see yourself having more kids? And it's a part two. -y. How do you see me in part two? Yes. If so, are you willing to have a kid with Darnell? Like, are you being on the one baby daddy girl, or is it like, I had a two baby daddy ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no shame, to no shame. No shame, but I feel as though when you put yourself in a predicament where you have multiple baby fathers, it's like you got a GD and a BD in the house. That's gonna clash. Say what? <laughs> right. <laughs> His daddy and a gang, the other daddy is like a, a, four, a Fortune 500 guy. That's different, you know, but. If you constantly get a hood nigga with a baby daddy, or like, I don't know, yeah. like most girls that I see with two baby daddies is always in the same pattern. It's yeah. not like your other baby daddy is like better, you know? Yeah. It's, it's like, bitch, you could stay with the original. I would rather, right. you know, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. So answer your question. I'm going to answer my question after I said this. Now I can say that, you like you said, it's the same pattern. Yeah. I feel like men come off different. A certain way at first. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then we, we learn that. And then we learn. Yeah, we get to learn. You got 13 weeks to learn a nigga. Bitch, uh, uh huh. Baby. Not the chop shop. Uh, chop shop girl instead of tea, baby. Give me my crackers and my apple juice. Bitch, actually, I want my cranberry juice. Bitch, I'm not going to do No, it's definitely okay. To answer your question, um, more kids, no. But if I was to have one, I would want the same father. I feel no, that. Okay. I feel that. Yeah, because I want to be a super baby. I want, yeah. Let's get it's, it's, I, I'm not going to lie. No shade. No shade. It's a little ghetto. It is. It is. But in certain cir um, circumstances, I understand, like, your baby father died or, like, y'all just Fat. overdone. Like I said, like, you... He was a hood nigga, now your next nigga was like a Fortune 500 nigga, or like you, you found the next guy that's like your husband. But I wouldn't be having a baby again with a guy that's not my husband. I feel like, how do you got two baby daddies? Like, you ain't none of these niggas married you. It's coming now. Okay. With your wife, that. you know, you know, you gotta <laughs> hold yourself to a higher standard. <laughs> but, <laughs> truth or drink, mm -hmm. name one bitch. Baby that you slept with. Street name or the real name? You better drink. <laughs> Don't come up with us later. I'm just gonna be a little messy for y'all. Drink! <laughs> Not the baby daddy. Bruh, am I in by trying to put that road though? Uh, 
Be the type to girl if I was you ask you guys for time. Okay, true for you. <laughs> drink. Would you do a threesome? <sighs> Will I do a threesome? Have you ever done a threesome? Which question is it? We got two parties. It's a two party. <laughs> okay, would I do a threesome? Have I ever done a threesome? Have I ever? No. Would I? Yes. For the right man, if that makes sense. Okay, would it be two guys and a girl, or would it be like. That's the third question. <laughs> do you guys. Okay, so this is the question in the comments. Do you guys consider two guys, one girl a train, or do you consider it a threesome? I'm not going to lie. I would definitely do a two guy, one girl. I would definitely do that. <laughs> Damn! Damn! What? <laughs> I'm serious. I would definitely do a two guy and one girl. <laughs> you think I'm serious or I'm playing? I think you play. I'm serious. For real? Yeah. I feel like that's hot. Like that is hot. I'm not gonna lie. Just Everyone like has had college days, you know. Just like, just like for a guy, two girls yeah. is hot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. But would it be like but my only, explicit? I'm not going to go like, I'm not gonna like, my only, it would definitely be classy, but my only thing is them two watching each other. Girl, niggas used to run two men all the time, brother. Yeah. So they don't, wait, like, girl, I'm a real LS bitch. These niggas used to run two men and bandos. Like, what multiple niggas and men does, let alone, so they not. It's so crazy how men would definitely like, like, yeah. fat us, we finna do us. Okay. Like, what? Yeah, and, and not have a gay moment in their life. Like, so I don't think yeah. that thought would cross them. I think me personally, I, my personal experience, I've tried a threesome and with my ex, and he did not like it. Like, um, we didn't even finish. It, we never started. It, it, yeah. Like, yeah, it was just horrible. <laughs> Another story, but I do feel you, like, having that two-guy thing. I was, you know, I was trying to get some two guys. I think my ex was under the impression I was going to get, like, a... Or, like, a, another gay boy. And I was just like... Or a trans girl. And I was just like, no, I'm going to get, like, a hood nigga that really wanted to... Anyway, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it just didn't work. It was a, it was a lot. But with the two girls, I would definitely do it for the right girls? for the right man, probably. I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't. I don't know how it would go. Yeah. That's my whole thing. Like I've never had sex with a girl, so this would be like a whole out of body experience for me. Yeah. So it's like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you yeah. want me to do? I never did it, so I don't know. Okay. Uh, Some people be saying. But you know, people be saying this out subject, y'all. But some people be saying a lot of people that did it, it be like I will never do it again, or I will never do it with my men. People say that all the time. People that I run by, they be like I will never do it with my men again, or some people be like it was okay. You know what I'm saying? I would never do it in our city, so we would never have a girl in it now. Yeah. Like it'll always be at a town thing. Yeah. Because I feel like it's too accessible. And bitches are shysty in Atlanta. Yeah. So, so we gotta like, go overseas yeah. now. If yeah. you travel back, back, oh, uh, what you, you want? Where you got your passport, bitch? <laughs> okay. Where you want without me? Fuck that. I want a bitch that only speaks English. Okay. Bitch, we just had a whole Google conversation, Google uh, translate conversation with okay. this bitch. <laughs> you know, like at a hotel, we got a Google translate. What's going on? Like, I need a bitch that don't speak English, Fair. and I need a bitch out of the country because I feel like if we're in the same city, I'm gonna trust you. Yeah. I don't know which one is bitch should be congregating. Like, oh, okay, yeah. you text me, hey, so you can come over to my house and fuck my nigga. Yeah. Like, you, you keep trying to, like, come over, come yeah. over, come over. But that's what a fake bitch, though. I don't know. I just feel like it's too risque. It's too accessible. I yeah. feel like a guy, like, oh, this bitch in my city, like, I could pull up on her. She done ate my dick down probably better than my bitch. What up? <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Mm -mm. That's too, that's too close. That's too close to home. True for drink. Mm -hmm. Would you ever move back to Chicago? So my thoughts on Chicago is 
my thoughts on a lot of friends. You outgrow. And I'm just thinking like I outgrew Chicago. Like, um, I don't know. I wouldn't say full time I would be in Chicago. Maybe I would have a location in Chicago. I would be by coastal. But full time, no. Um, I feel like personally I outgrew Chicago. A lot of people in Chicago are on the same thing. They're all trying to break each other neck or cut each other throat to get to the top. And it's like a dog eat dog world in Chicago. And in Atlanta, it's like, oh, bitch, you can have a toothpaste land. Bitch, I get toothpaste on a dollar stuff. I'm a realist bitch. Maybe even Walmart. But we're going to go to this bitch with a toothpaste land because now you're a black bitch selling toothpaste. Now I want to go spend $5 when I know I'm going to get toothpaste for a dollar. I feel that, yeah. You know, like Atlanta is so just a uh, boiling pot of just creativity, different vibes, or just, you know, just in general, you know. Two and one. Other than Atlanta, what else would you move? Miami. Miami was my first choice, actually. Really? I was going to move to Miami. The only thing that stopped me from moving to Miami was I didn't know anybody in Miami. Yeah. Like, I knew yeah. guys in Miami, but I don't have any family. You know, right. my cousin is out here, so... Yeah. And that was a big part of my move. Like, okay, yeah. at least I know a bitch, like, know a bitch out there, see, you know? Oh, see, we moved out here and no, nobody, not, no, not, yeah. not one single person. But y'all was together. It was a family family, you family. know? Like, I'm by myself. Because if I was by myself, I don't yeah. think I would have moved. Yeah, like, I got a little bit dorky, you know? Like, yeah. bitch, my town home, I felt like wasn't safe, you know? Like, I feel like it was too accessible. A guy could walk up and kick my door and now you're in my home, you know? Like, so it's, it, it was a lot of just like figuring out an area, you know, figuring out where you want to be. You know, Atlanta was a big adjustment because it's very gentrified. Yeah. I feel that. Okay. She didn't make me drink, but I'm just going to go ahead and drink. You should have been drunk, okay? Mm. You've been playing, yes. I've been, been tempting your turn. Okay. So, <laughs> let's get into the smoke, bitch. What? Truth or drink? Let me hear it. I remember the world. Have I ever been with a girl? Never. I never, ever, ever kissed a girl? Yes. Like, been with a girl or I had sexual intercourse with a girl? Never. Ever. I promise you. I will tell you if I need. I'm going to take a drink for her. I never been with a girl. I'm going to take a drink for her, you guys. And me and her have had this conversation offline. I just feel like this is not. <laughs> <laughs> so you think I'm lying? I'm not lying. Y'all, she think I'm lying because I had told her that I'm interested in trying to grow yeah. next. That don't mean I've been with one, but I'm very interested with trying. But how do you go from a real thing to one of a girl? Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, I'm just, like I said, I'm just willing to have fun. I feel like. During this break. Girl. <laughs> Break is over. You guys have learned that in the first question. I got a question. Okay, go ahead. Would you get remarried? Would I get remarried? Um, yes, hell yeah. Like those to the same person, yeah. To the, see, you be one of me. You be on what they be on. And I'm not on what y'all on. Okay. What? I'm you a train. Train. I'm we a train. Look, you're the first time. Keeping a black family together. <laughs> Look, you on what they on. This is my uh, first time. What's the one you my uh, black love? <laughs> we keep the black love alive. Okay, truth or drink? Okay. Do you want to get married and have kids? I don't. Okay, so. Okay, I, okay so to answer the same question, I want to have kids. Yes. Okay. Um, I will start off with one. I want to be a little <laughs> mom. For real. Yeah, like I don't think I will have a baby in my 20s. Yeah. I think I'll be like a 38, 40 mom. Really? I, yeah. I feel like anyway go, I'm going to have it the right way, meaning like a surrogate. So yeah. why can't I have that fairy tale of like, I live out my 20s and then we grind in our 30s and have a baby or, you know, I grind in my 40s and have one. I feel that. But to answer your question about marriage, yes, but no. So legally in a court of law, like you, no. So yeah. I wouldn't have a marriage certificate, but maybe a partnership agreement yeah. um only because wait y'all can get married no we can't we can't i just don't think legally i would want to get married oh, because okay. my own beliefs i just feel like with a marriage you have division 
You gotta break up, you know, properties. You gotta break up investments, money. Yeah. I want to come into a partnership with a guy. I would rather do a partnership agreement. I would rather us sit around. We have our lawyers there. We say, I came in with my 500k. I want to leave my 500k. Okay. Bitch, okay? And, I think and, you could do that in a marriage. Yeah, but but you have to get a prenup, and then that yes. becomes like a whole nother debacle, you know. And it's like in a prenup, you can't add clauses like, oh, we. If I was to wake up and you come a millionaire, I can't take your half a yeah. million. Like, no, let me tell you what I told Darnell. But he was so, not to cut you off, you were done. Yeah. Not to cut you off. Y'all, and this some, is some tea for the end of this video. Let me tell y'all what I had told Darnell. Before mm -hmm. we had got married and paid all that money, I was like, let's just have a reception. No ceremony. Let's just have a reception. Don't sign no papers. And just celebrate us being 10 years. I feel that. I feel no papers, no, no, no paper, ceremony. No ceremony. That's that type of reception. I don't have to be married in the eye of law. I married you in the eye of God and my family. Exactly. Right. So I, I told you. I told you. But he was that. so willing to. It's just crazy how you were just so willing to let's 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 do it for real. Let's do it for yeah. real. So, and you really weren't really. Exactly. Because I, I told that. this man, I was like, we ain't gotta sign no papers. We ain't gotta have no ceremony. Let's just. Have a big reception and celebrate yeah. love. Yeah, I feel that. I feel like it, it. It really is different nowadays. Marriage is a piece of paper. It's a lot of married got Yeah. Liquor store. Yeah. Liquor store. Just a liquor store getting a bottle. Guy is approaching me. I'm like, I'm married. You say I'm married too. Wait, what is going on? But this Not is Atlanta. This is Atlanta for you though. So. It's a give and a take, and like I said, Stop. I want to get into a proprietorship or like a partnership versus actually signing a nurse to be because if they come for you, I don't want them to come for me. I'll get my name changed. We'll do it. We, we're going to have a big wedding. I'm going to have a long dress. We're going to do it up. Ain't nobody going to know, right. but unless they look for that marriage certificate a few months later and it ain't published, it ain't signed off because... I just feel like it'll be easier breaking up yeah. that way. I don't gotta go and get a divorce. We just gotta end our partnership agreement. What up? It's cool. We, we over. Like, we'll, we'll see. It's almost like a boyfriend and girlfriend on a contract. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. I definitely agree with that. Like, I, I really did. I really. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It should uh, be a it's so crazy. I come from a two parent household, and my parent is married. Both of my parents are married. Um, but my mom's been married for like 15 years, and I'm just like, I I salute them. That's black love yeah. because they're still, together. they're still together. My mom just welcomed the baby five years ago, yeah, what? 2019. Y'all got a little sister, hey, Papa, Papa's breaking up our video, right? Okay. I'm tired of y'all talking. <laughs> you ready? What I also feel like going back to the marriage thing, yeah, I really don't know. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie. I really, really don't know what marriage is all about. See, I've been in a 12 year relationship. I know what a relationship about and stuff like but that. But being a wife is different. Right. I don't. It's it's really different. I don't. And really, it's so much pressure. Yeah. And I can admit, I don't know what being a uh, being in a marriage is really all about. You know. And that's okay. That's okay. And that's why I feel like. You're a real bitch because <laughs> coming into you know like just past traumas or even like born into relationships, I always tell guys like, "What's your family connection? What's yeah. your family dynamic? I want to meet your family. I want to yeah. see your drunken uncle. I want to see your crazy mom. Like I want to see that because I want to know is that a, that, a, a family dynamic that, that determines our best? future? Yeah, that determines a lot because. In Chicago alone, I could say a lot of the guys' trauma defines your relationship. It does. If a guy sees his does. mama in and out with niggas, now I'm saying he ain't gonna want a relationship either because he grew up with someone that was so fruitful, you know? Yeah. But you have a guy that grew up in a parent household and, you know, constantly seeing that black love. It's like, I'm not gonna hit my black queen. I'm not gonna disrespect her because I didn't grow up around exactly. it. But you grew up around a family that was tussling. <laughs> now you at the family union. Now we have to have like this. What's up? What's up? What's up? Now that the family function, they don't bring your crazy bitch way. Right? Don't bring your crazy. Don't bring your baby mama. Why am I crazy? Because that's her cheating on me. I'm trying to figure it out. You know? 